Sean and Marlon are at a cool party with famous people. Marlon got Moesha's autograph. Sean and Marlon are at a party with people. Rico da Vinci arrives. Marlon says he loves his bad movies. Rico tells him to beat it, but his friend, who also shops at the Big and Tall Collar store, says that's the token black guy from that sitcom. Rico loves that sitcom and invites Marlon to the bathroom to smoke a little shimmy shimmy ya. Sean is badgering a pasty producer who perks up when he mentions he reps the token black guy from that sitcom. Supercut says he's producing the new Steven Bergman movie, and there's a perfect role for Marlon, but can Marlon handle it? Sean Sean says, duh. Marlon comes out the bathroom smelling like Snoop Dogg's Xbox on Labor Day. Sean scolds his brother for reeking of Ruth Buda Ginsburg. Marlon says, chill. He's faking. It was all past. No puff puff. Sean says he better watch it. Smoking Trill Collins can lead to other things, like waffles. Marlon dips to get waffles with Rico. Marlon wants to tell Sean all about the waffles, but he interrupts his thrilling tale to say he got him an audition with Steven Bergman. Even though Marlon almost blew it by having fun at that party, Sean cautions it's a short walk from hot box lavatories to dull stories about waffles to smoking crap. Marlon says relax, he is not ripping Kush sticks, it's just pretendy Wendy make-believe. A wild Kush stick appears. Sean wants to know what the heck happened to pretendy Wendy make-believe. Marlon says he only took the stone bone so his new friends would think he's cool. Sean says he does not want Marlon hanging with Rico because he's his 26-year-old baby brother, and he's flushing this doobie before it ruins his life. Marlon's rehearsing outside of Steven Bergman's office when Rico walks by, fresh off his latest blindfolded shopping spree. Marlon is nervous. Rico tells him to smoke a Jim Jam, take the edge off. Marlon's worried it will mess with his process. Rico says it will make him more creative. He'll be wrapping cold mac and cheese in slices of turkey at 2 a.m. This stuff is creativity cheat codes. Marlon laments his narc brother flushed his Illmatic. Rico says no worries, he keeps a freshie of Joe Biden rolled in his pubes. Best of luck, my guy. Marlon shows up to the audition H-I-I-I-I-G-H high as hell off that diesel DeVito. Door drumming, hair ruffling high. Let's go to the Marlin cam. Ayo, that's some good shit. The only acting he's doing is acting a damn fool. Running around, rolling around high. More Marlin cam. Ooh wee. Marlin is singing into a lamp like Nate Dog High. Where does Rico cop his fuzzy green nasty? But when Marlin shows his best impression of a person skiing, not in the script, uh, something isn't right. Then he gets spooked by a poster that's looking right at him? Dear God. This is happening faster than Sean predicted. Marlin is already smoking crack. Mr. Coppertone attempts to get Marlin to read his one line, but he simply cannot. He is lit past the point of no return on what appears to be crack. And just when he's about to almost maybe act, he decides he'd rather try out for the role of Pookie in New Jack City. Then spills jelly beans on the floor and takes his shirt off, which would be fine if he was on mushrooms with friends in a cabin, but he's high on crack with his potential future boss in his office. The producer tells him to scram. Marlin grabs their tasty beans, deuces. Senior Sweater says drugs are a damn shame. First they fired that pothead Rico, now this high sum of bitch stole their sweet beans. Marlin says he aced it. Sean begs to differ. He did not get the part because he was cracked the fuck out. Marlon denies the allegations, then pulls a lifetime supply of jelly beans up out his nut area. Marlon says he had jitters, so he toked a little lotty dotty. Sean says not only did he lose the part, now he's got a bad reputation, just like Rico, who can't get a job because he stays blunted. And they don't even need to drug test him, they just look at his shirts and know what time it is. Marlon says this weed stuff is bad news, he is done smoking. For evs. Until 603 days from now when Scary Movie comes out and his character does nothing but get high for 88 minutes. And it ends with a direct-to-camera PSA, warning people not to mess with drugs unless you want to launch a horror film parody franchise that earns 900 million dollars at the box office. So what did we learn today? Don't get blazed before you have to do anything important, especially if you got the joint from someone you barely know because it might be laced with crack. And a little kush won't ruin your life, but way too much will have you buying ugly shirts in quantity. And only sketchy losers hide in bathrooms to smoke weed at parties, because weed is for sharing and you're stinking up the john. And drugs are no laughing matter, just like Scary Movie 3 through 5. See you next time on a very special episode.